What's good everybody, it's Brahms, and today guys, I'm coming to you with a brand new video, but before we get into that guys, please go ahead and leave a like on this video, let's try and get 30 likes on this video, I know I usually ask for 20, but we have been crushing it, so let's keep it up guys, let's try and get 30 likes on this video, and of course guys, subscribe if you have not already, because we're so close to 7,000 subscribers, and I can leak the giveaway details very soon. Again guys, check out all the socials down below, you'll be able to find out my Instagram and my Discord, where I am a lot more active, or I try to be at least, I'm trying to make a really positive and lit community guys, and of course, check out Sleep chief and use my code other five for five percent off all purchases but without further ado guys let's get right into the video before we continue the video guys i'm proud to announce that we have officially partnered with sleeve chief sleeve chief is an awesome website that sells a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh products and accessories and they even do anime crossovers for their Yu-Gi-Oh products if you're a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh or just looking to get some cool anime related items then sleeve chief is definitely the place to go and the best part is if you use my special code other five at checkout you'll get five percent off all purchases made on the website so what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description or head over to Sleeve Chief's website and start shopping today. Alright guys, so now starting off with the video, again, you guys can see from the title it's how to play through hand traps, but what better way of showcasing it than literally showing you guys it? So right here I have a wheel, it has Gamma, Nib, Ash Blossom, Imperm, and Veiler, and in my opinion, these are the most detrimental hand traps for Sword Soul. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin the wheel, whatever hand traps it lands on, I will be doing a test hand on, and if the video is short enough, I'll be able to do two test hands, whatever is remaining, aka like if there's a big hand trap that I believe that you know it deserves for me to showcase it I will definitely showcase it in another video but before we spin the wheel guys let's go and leave a like on this video and subscribe of course if you enjoy my sword soul content or any other content and again comment what you guys want to see next but without further ado guys we will hit the spin on the wheel again it doesn't matter I'm just going to showcase you guys at how the deck resolves so again it's going to spin looks like we're getting an ash blossom and joyous spring which is perfectly fine guys cool so we have landed on ash blossom and joyous spring what I am going to do now is I'm going to close this and I will quickly open up Duel book and before i launch it i will show you guys it all right guys so now hopping into solo mode we will go ahead and hit host tool so now this will go ahead and open us our hand so again we have a source soul emergence we have taya we have double ash blossom and we have infinite impermanence so i will showcase you guys how this deck plays around ash blossom honestly there's not a lot of instances sorry where the deck can really get hit by ash blossom apart from like desires ecclesia things of that nature luckily for this hand we're going to go ahead and activate source soul emergence this will emerge immediately prompt an ash blossom from our opponent which is perfectly fine from here we can go ahead and normal summon taya use taya to go ahead and banish our emergence and then go ahead and special summon out a token cool from here what we can do is we can go ahead and sink our monsters away into our she shell then we can go chain link one she shell chain link two tie to mill usually i like to mill here is it doesn't really matter but i like to mill the tangies like always just because the tangies are very very powerful in that regard so we'll go ahead and dump ashuna and then this will go ahead and add us our sword soul of blackout so again ash blossom doesn't really hurt the deck all too much it makes it the plays weird in some instances like my hand was a little weird in in that case um again it wasn't really going to change much i was probably going to add a moe anyways but basically what we end on we end on a shisha which is a monster negate we end on blackout which is two pops so that's three interruptions we end on two non-engine which are imperm and ash blossom and then we end on potential follow-up plays as well with ashuna with tennies things of that nature so again ash blossom makes it a little weird but it's not that bad and just to prove it to you guys that it's not that bad i will go ahead and hit reset deck right here and we'll do another test hand just to showcase you the overall power of the deck so again you guys can see here my hand is long you want i don't know i'm kind of my hand my hand is long you want source of blackout heavenly dragon circle taya and ashuna which is perfectly fine I Again, Ash Blossom does not affect this deck at all. So basically what I'm going to do is, again, if you guys know and you start off with Long Yuan, you almost always want to start off with Long Yuan unless you have... Um unless you have a moe so basically we're going to special along you on special out the token here and this will go ahead and prompt us to go ahead and synchro into our beyond fleur um where's this guy over here cool and then this will go ahead and use our long you want to burn always look, use long you want to burn even in test hands make sure you guys like say you're doing test hands irl and you're just like shuffling make sure you just like go long you want burn like always say long you want burn you never want to forget it but basically from here we can go ahead and go normal some taya declare tie to go ahead and banish out our long you want to summon a token on the board again we are perfectly protected by nibiru so it doesn't really matter from here we basically have the opportunity to activate ashuna here i'm trying to think of what ashuna adds because if you go into draco berserker or baxia shuffle yeah so we'll do is here i'll I'll go ahead and use ashuna again this will prompt our opponent to ash blossom us most likely so from here what we can do is we can go ahead and synchro our monsters away into a baxia i'm going to choose baxia this time and then we'll go ahead and declare taya here so taya will go ahead and dump and taya will go ahead and dump a moe because now that we are already under nibiru protection it's perfectly fine from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and set heavenly dragon circle and then i'm going to use baxia to pop heavenly dragon circle to special summon out the moe and then this will trigger moe to go ahead and reveal 
to go ahead and summon a token and then here we can go ahead and declare having drag circle banish it because we haven't used the effect to go ahead and grab us a tenny usually what one of my favorite tennies to grab is actually adhara on the follow-up because it's guaranteed like worst case scenario you get a normal summon to play through it so here we can go ahead and sync our monsters away into our she shall right here and then from here we can go ahead and go chain link one she shall chain link two mo Yi to let us draw so we're going to go ahead and draw a card and then she shall will go ahead and trigger to go ahead and get us any card because we already went through long yuan again the hand is a little weird what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly go ahead and add sword soul emergence just for generic follow play and then again because we have hot desires why not fire it off because it doesn't matter so from here we are going to go ahead and draw two cards so we'll see what we draw here. So we draw Book of Moon and Heavenly Dragon Circle. So again, more non-engine. What we banish as Ecclesias. Like it doesn't matter even if we banish triple Ecclesias because we still have Moe's and Taya's in our deck. And that's what Social Emerge can get. So basically ending, we end up ending on a Book of Moon and a Blackout as well. So basically through an Ash Blossom, guys, again, like I said for Ash Blossom does not hurt this deck at all. We end with the Baron Negate. We have the She Shao Negate, which can banish any of these cards. Mind you, we can get them back with Atara. On top of that as well is we end on a Blackout, which is a pop two. Most likely we're probably going to pop our She Shao because because Baxia can pop itself to reborn out our tie, which is pretty good. Then we have Book of Moon against Cashier. If you guys know, it's an FTK as well. So we actually end up on a lot of, a lot of disruptions. And we end up follow play, to be honest. I would actually set this card as well. You, yeah, you would set this card as well because when you black out your monster, you would want to heavenly dragon circle it. But if you guys still don't believe that Ash Blossom does nothing to this deck, I would literally draw another test hand right now. So you guys can see right now, again, we are going to go ahead and be shuffling, blah, blah, whatever. Three test hands in a row, guys. Like I'm showcasing you before, Ash Blossom does not, nothing to this deck. So again, look at our hand again. This is pure consistency in its finest. And like I'm saying before, Ash Blossom does nothing to this deck. We're going to go ahead and special summon Ashuna, link Ashuna away into Monk of the Tenyi. Again, if you see two Tenyis, if you see Ashuna plus another Tenyi, guys, you almost always have this play. So from here, what we can do is we can go ahead and declare Vashuda, special summon out Vashuda. And then from here, we can go ahead and declare Ashuna, banish. Again, this is going to eat an Ash Blossom it's perfectly fine again i don't care that i'm hitting ash Blossom. like whatever man from here what we can do is there again there are a multitude of plays that we can choose because we have ecclesia we have access to taya as well i think the best way to do here is if you go normal summon activate its effect and go ahead and pop again i'm trying to think of what we can do is because what we can do is we can go ahead and use long you want to discard the emergence or we can use normal summon mo yi activate it long you want to discard emergence especially i'm not a token draw i guess drawing is pretty good um because we're not really locked anymore so i think what we're going to do is that um i guess using source of emergency fine yeah okay i made my mind we're going to go ahead and normal summon ecclesia declare ecclesia tribute summon to go ahead and special summon out our moe from the deck and then we'll go ahead and declare moe to reveal long yuan to go ahead and special summon out a token then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and use long yuan sending this card to the graveyard to special summon out long yuan to summon out another token then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and synchro our monsters away into our shishing long yuan again long yuan burn always don't forget the burn don't forget the burn don't forget the burn we burn and then from here we can go ahead and synchro our monsters away again into our um uh, what's it? she shall or she shall yeah and then we'll go chain link one she shall chain link two this guy and chain link three um mo yi and then this will go ahead and emit us to draw so again we will go draw one draw two and then this guy will go ahead and trigger to go ahead and search so she shall will go ahead and search us our blackout again we're never punished because we end up drawing vessel of the dragon cycle anyways and the reason why I, i'm saying this is important as you guys will see here we'll activate vessel because we control it and then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and dump our taya to the graveyard which is going to be really nice and then we can actually go ahead and add us a card which is going to be another ashuna um i meant to add this to our hand which is going to be perfectly fine as well you guys can see like ash Blossom does nothing to this deck from here we will go ahead and link our monsters away into shaman of the tenyi and then from here we can go ahead and declare shaman shaman will go ahead and discard our ashuna should i discard ashuna yeah i'll discard ashuna here which is fine so we'll go ahead and send ashuna to the graveyard to go ahead and reborn our taya and then from here we can go ahead and declare taya Ty can go ahead and banish our let's go ahead and banish our long yuan and go ahead and summon out a token and then from here what we can do is we can go ahead and sink our monsters away into our draco berserker of the tenyi and then this is going to go ahead and trigger our monk of the, or sorry taya to go ahead and dump our adhara to the graveyard which is going to be really good as well and then we can go ahead and set and then you guys can see through an ash blossom again like i said before we will consistently be ending on these type of boards it's a triple synchro board which is absolutely crazy usually when you get one hand trap and you can push through you just do it so let's analyze what we end on so shaman basically says this some says you cannot use monsters um from the extra deck for the rest of this turn 
best one for me extract except tangy monsters um so basically like it's okay because we can still use jacob berserker so again we use jacob berserker banish we have shishang long yuan who's an ftk against cashier that's two effects we have a shisha which is another negate then we have blackout which is two negate so we ended up on six interruptions through one ash blossom guys through one ash blossom so again you guys saw from three test hands in a row we can actually play through ash blossom but that's that's it for ash blossom again guys i'm going to spin the wheel again and then we will do the test hands again exactly the same way as i did um just showcase you guys how it doesn't affect the deck at all all right guys again we are back with the wheel and you guys can see it literally nothing changed it's still on ash blossom we will go ahead and hit spin if it hits ash blossom we'll spin again of course guys but again we'll go ahead and hit spin it hits ash blossom uh is it gonna hit ash blossom no it actually hits infinite impermanence was actually a pretty good card against sword in the sword strategy so it's impermanent so again we will quickly hop into dueling book right this second so again guys now we are on to dueling book and basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to again hop into the dueling book into the test mode and go ahead and play around infinite impermanence and this is perfect literally perfect like literally perfect we have every which way to play around infinite impermanence so from here guys we will go ahead and start our turn by going normal summon mo Yi and reveal blackout again our, this will prop an infinite impermanence for our opponent activate infinite impermanence we will activate heavenly dragon circle tributing the mo Yi. it sucks that we do not get the draw but it doesn't matter guys because from here we can go ahead and we can continue playing so we will go ahead and add a mopura to our hand i'm trying to think if mopura is a good card if we get ashuna grabbing ashuna to go ahead and banish summon up mopura is there a reason for that no not really so again we will go ahead um i'm trying to see if there's another way to do it but there's not so we'll grab mopura perfectly fine sucks losing the um sucks losing the moyu drop but it's perfectly fine again declare uh mopura plus i'm not mopura synchro our guys away into our she shall is it better or is it going yeah going into our she shall is probably the best line of action here then we will go ahead and declare she shall to go ahead and add us a follow play it can be emergence it can be taya i think specifically in this instance um adding an emergence is the best just show you guys the variant and then from here we can go ahead and set our blackout and continue to play so again through infinite permanence guys we end up on a she shall negate we end up on blackout which is two we end up on effect veiler we end up on book of moon and we end up on emergence as follow play and if you guys saw my follow play from previous activity emerges to get ties one of the best plays to do um when it comes to follow plays but again like i said before guys it doesn't matter we will go ahead and hit reset deck and we will do the test hands again you guys see we will go ahead and draw our cards and again perfectly awesome like it doesn't matter what our opponent opens so from here starting off again order of operations always we will go ahead and activate part of desires because again depending on what we draw here or depending on what we banish it will change our plays exponentially again we draw two cards the cards kind of suck but what we banish here is we don't care we end up losing our blackout which is perfectly fine again losing blackout sucks but it's fine um and then we end up drawing our hand which is like this which is cool as well i think what we are going to do is initially what we can do is we can go ahead and special um normal summon activate yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to activate sword soul emergence this will go ahead and grab us our long yuan to our hand which is perfectly awesome and then here we can go ahead and declare long yuan to go ahead and discard one of our tires or not one of our tires one of our guys to go ahead and summon out a token then from here we can go ahead and synchro our monsters away into our um where is he baron de fleur cool from here again long yuan burn don't ever forget long yuan burn guys seriously then we will go ahead and normal summon ecclesia declare ecclesia tribute out ecclesia to go ahead and special summon out our mo yi if i'm not mistaken i think we lost our blackout which is fine from here we can go ahead and declare mo yi mo yi will go ahead and reveal our um Vashuda. and this is where the infinite impermanence will hit us so this is where i can you can think and you can kind of understand like okay what do i want to do do i want to go mo yi do i want to go ahead and book a moon my monster what we're going to do is we're going to bear on the gate because it's perfectly fine um just to get the, the special summon. and then here we can go ahead and link our monsters away sorry not links sync our monsters away into she shall and again chain link one chain link two so we'll go chain link one and we will go chain link two mo you will go ahead and draw a state card and then we will shuffle our hand up and then she shall go ahead and add a state card which is going to be um just to look at our deck we can add a taya we already used long you want so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add a taya and then from here we can go ahead and set a book of moon and send infinite permanence now this actually works in our favor now why you may ask is because usually you will be searching blackout almost always in these type of scenarios and being able to set a back row means that we might have blackout set so again you can bluff our opponent in that regard almost hold the back row just to kind of scare our opponent losing the baron does suck but again they still have a 3000 vanilla monster to deal with and on the swing back it can pop a card not only that do we end on the shishao negate which is a negate we end on our book of moon and we end on infinite impermanence so we still end on three negates against a card that a lot of people say is one of the toughest cards to deal with for sword soul but we will close it up so guys that was it for the end of the video if you guys like the video please go ahead and leave a like on this video again if you made it to the end of the video and you are not yet subscribed yet please go ahead and leave a subscription because we're trying to get as many subscribers as possible but i appreciate you guys for watching anyways and my name is Hamza. like i always say guys keep on shining never on dreams peace